guys, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm here making a little rice cake so I can get my day started. Making some tea so I can get my day going, honey. I'm about to work out, so I'm just making this rice cake so I can have something on my stomach. Because when I drink water first thing in the morning, I feel sick. So I need something to sit on my stomach before I start drinking a lot of water. So I'm just making me a little peanut butter rice cake with some chai seeds. Did I say chai seeds? Chia seeds? <laughs> just to hold me over. I didn't feel like going walking today. It's too cold. It's just too cold outside. So I'm doing a galad workout. Total body sculpt with gilad. That's what I'm doing this morning. y'all right, just got done doing my workout y'all don't be laughing at me because i look like a peanut head today okay today is wash day so i have not installed my wig yet but look your girl's still cute okay hair does help but your girl's still cute <laughs> so let me go ahead and make breakfast y'all so i can get the rest of my day going and get myself together all right i'm about to make breakfast i'm making uh banana nut oatmeal and i saw this strawberry drink that i want to try because i think it'll be perfect with my colon broom and instead of always making smoothies if this drink is good i'm gonna try it out let me go ahead and get these dogs no we don't leave the dogs outside i feel like i have to clarify that you don't know how people on the internet be kitchen but yeah isn't it crazy how you have to clarify every little thing no the dogs are not outside dogs and i know good and well if i would have left them out there which i wouldn't have somebody would have been like hannah aren't you gonna let the dogs inside you keep them outside all day no <laughs> no i don't i have my strawberries i'm just gonna cut them up and put them in my blender and I'm gonna add milk to this in the recipe that I saw the girl had um, this Japanese style milk but I don't have that so I'm just gonna use regular milk or you could use almond milk but I'm gonna add my colon broom to it so thank you to colon broom for sponsoring today's video y'all know I love me some colon broom and I thought it would be perfect to add to this drink because the strawberry flavor is popping, okay? So I feel like it's just gonna enhance the strawberry flavor um, while giving me my daily dose of fiber. I have these white strawberries or strawberries de blanc, I think they're called. I'm gonna add these for a little garnish to make it look cute or whatever. So I have my strawberries, let me add my milk. <music> Colon Broom is a high fiber dietary supplement that uses high quality ingredients to support your gut health and keep you regular. You can take it with water, put it in a smoothie, or get fancy with it like me. There's so many benefits to Colon Broom Premium as it works as a prebiotic, nourishing good gut bacteria, and may also help boost your immune system and support weight control. So definitely try it out. Click the link down in the description box and be sure to use my discount code at checkout. And thank you so much to Colon Broom for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna go ahead 
ahead and marinate this chicken so I can put it in the freezer so it doesn't go bad because it's been sitting in the fridge for a couple days now. But I'm just, um, I, sep I cleaned the chicken and separated it. I poked some holes in the chicken so it can soak in the marinade. And I'm doing a chipotle chicken marinade, teriyaki, and then like a Greek lemon marinade. So I'll leave the, um, I won't leave the recipe because I don't have a recipe per se, but I'll leave the ingredients that I put in each chicken down below. And that way I can just grab and go, cook what I need for the week and be done with it without getting bored with flavors. So with this chipotle chicken, I'm gonna do um, a chipotle chicken rice bowl. And I also wanna use the chicken for lunch wraps. This is some parade chipotle and adobo sauce. Y'all, this stuff is hot. When I first made chipotle chicken, the recipe told me just to puree and put the whole can on the chicken. Y'all, that stuff was so spicy. So I only put two tablespoons of that. my Greek lemon chicken marinade which y'all didn't see was that the whole bottle of oregano dumped into the bag so I had to fix it so we'll see how that turns out because it's oregano heavy <laughs> and I may not like that but it smells good so we'll see but the Greek lemon chicken marinade chipotle chicken marinade and then the teriyaki chicken marinade y'all done blew a fuse out <laughs> trying to blow dry my hair and now I'm running late I am behind. I was supposed to be out the door already, but I wasn't expecting that to happen and I couldn't leave to go anywhere without my hair being done. So that's that on that. But I'm just sitting here popping some curls on my hair before I head out. But let me tell y'all what happened. Let me tell y'all what's been going on. And I told them I was gonna blast them and I don't even care at this point because they still have not responded. So. Y'all remember the brand I work with called Rest Duvet, Rest Duvet. <laughs> y'all, let me tell y'all what happened. So, did the collab for them. That collab brought them in over $30,000. So what I'm telling y'all is they made $30,000 off me and y'all supporting me, my audience. $30,000 so the agreement was that they would pay me the fee and then 7% commission so everything was going good the first couple of months and then I started having issues with them so they were going through some kind of payment system change which affected me getting paid so long story short they kept paying me late kept paying me late kept asking me to be patient and i was patient with them no problem so fast forward to now y'all the last portion of the commission that was supposed to be paid out was only 60 dollars, y'all that's all they had left to pay it was like 65 dollars from october so she was like hey hannah we'll go ahead and get this process for you please be patient so i was like okay whatever like i know they'll pay me when they get around to paying me is $65. So it's like, I still want the money, but I'm not like super pressed about it. And I want to clarify that it's not about the money. It could be $5, $50, 500, 5,000. It's about the principal. November goes by, December goes by, January. So she emailed me like three weeks ago at this point saying, hey, Hannah, um, our finance team is out on vacation please be patient. I don't care what's going on with y'all. Like pay me my money at this point. At this point, it's 90 days past due. What's going on? Your, your finance department has not been on vacation for three months. So get it together. So even then I let two weeks pass by. I didn't respond to her email. I let two, two weeks pass by. 
And so then I'm like, okay, so y'all are just not pressed about paying me what's owed to me. And mind you, this is commission money. This is not even like a fee. This is money that is literally because y'all decided to shop with them, commission-based money. So I emailed her and I was like, and I cc two other people whose emails I had. And I was like, hey, um, y'all still haven't paid me. It's been over 90 days at this point, And we were in cahoots for another collaboration. So we had already gotten that started. And I said, um, I don't know what's going on here. It seems like y'all don't have any urgency trying to pay your creators. Please let me know what's going on. Y'all, no response. So I was like, okay. So I let another week pass. Give them time to respond. Give them time to pay me, get it together. Still didn't respond. So at this point, I'm like, I don't know what's going on with y'all. I don't know why you're essentially like just ghosting me at this point. You have no reason to. Nothing has changed since our last collaboration. I haven't been harassing y'all in emails. I just need to know when you're gonna pay me my money because you keep asking me to be patient and I've been patient with you. I've been nice about it. So I emailed them the other day. I was like, I've given y'all plenty of time to respond to me and you guys are choosing not to respond at this point. I don't know what's going on. I did receive the product for the next collaboration. So if you ever get around to um, responding to this email, please let me know what I need to do with it. And I said, um, I will be letting my supporters know what's going on. And that was like three days ago, still no response. So I just took the, um, the it was a little comforter they sent me. I just took the comforter out of the box and put it on my bed. <laughs> Cause I'm like, well, I guess y'all not pressed about paying me my money and I guess y'all not pre pressed about the free piece of product that y'all sent over so and I don't know if in their mind that's like compensation but I'm like it's so dumb because we had another collaboration lined up you know what I mean so it wasn't like I did something to make them not want to continue working with me or at the very minimum respond to my emails. It's just so weird. Like these companies y'all, they just be, I don't know who be working at the companies. I don't know what be going on there, but it's a whole lot, a whole lot of. And like I said, the fact that not only the rep that I was working with didn't respond, but the other two email accounts that I added to the email, which was like hello at restuve.com and billing at restduvet.com. Neither one of y'all responded either. That looks really bad. And that tells me y'all just could care less. And like I said, y'all made $30,000 off of me and you can't pay me, just throw $60 that is owed to me. Like that doesn't make any sense to me. That's really weird. But yeah, I told them I would let y'all know. So here we are. <laughs> But I like this. This is cute. This looks so cute. So let me finish the other side so I can get out of here. And I'll pick y'all up in a second. I am hungry, so we're going to have to get something to eat too. Because, baby, your girl is hungry. I didn't eat lunch. And it's almost 3 o'clock now. But that oatmeal did hold me over. But, baby, your girl is hangry now. Okay. Yeah, this truck behind me has been speeding the whole time the whole trailer on his truck but the cops are out today like I've already seen like four cops pulling people over and there's a cop right here in front of me so I'm glad he saw him because oh boy sure was fun and yeah, they ain't playing today they ain't playing honey hey y'all I'm sitting here at Duncan about to get me some coffee I had a taste for iced coffee and I haven't gotten one in a minute oh, oh. Yes, can I have a medium butter pecan iced coffee with four creams, four sugars, and that'll be it. You said medium iced caramel with four creams, four sugars? Medium butter pecan. Alright, that's what we all for? Yes, that'll be it. Thank you. You're welcome. But yeah, I'm getting me a coffee before I... um. 
head over to go for a walk. Wasn't planning to go for a walk this morning, but I said, I just felt like I needed to get out the house. <laughs> so I'm going for a little walk, clear my head. Okay, where is my car at? I don't got time for this. Yeah, All right, you too. But yeah, I'm going to the park for a walk to get some fresh air. I just wanted to stop and get me a little coffee. Let me see if they made it right. Y'all know how Duncan is. It's a little watery. It's a little watery. But y'all, I feel so weird today because I don't know if, I know I'm not the only one that this happens to because deja vu is a common thing. But I have deja vu probably like quarter or every six months or so and it always hits me so weird when it happens because so I had deja vu today and it's like the randomest moments that I've already dreamed about and I'm back in that situation or position and I noticed that I only get deja vu when it's moments of like high emotion for me come on now truck so I can get over See this car in front of me going 40 miles an hour. But yeah, it only happens in moments of extremely like high emotion for me. So I had deja vu again today. And when it happens, it's like an outer body experience. So it only it always takes me a minute to adjust and like get my mind back together because it's such a weird experience. And every time I have deja vu, it's not like a distinct situation it's very random it's so weird so I feel kind of like a little weird on edge today because <laughs> it happened like an hour or so ago and I just feel like woo, a little cool, cool right now <laughs> but y'all let me know have y'all ever experienced deja vu let me know down in the comments because every time I do experience it it's just so weird weird. to go inside and fix me some lunch i'm gonna fix that chipotle chicken bowl i went ahead and put the chicken in the oven yesterday forgot it was in the oven and burnt it just a little bit a lot of it just a little bit so it's still the flavor is popping has a little bit of spice has a little bit of sweetness some flavor up in there so the chicken chipotle chicken is popping but i just burnt the chicken but i'm glad that i had chicken thighs because it's a darker juicier meat because if it was chicken breast it would be hard as a rock I wouldn't be able to eat it so <laughs> I cut up that chicken last night so I'm gonna put that in the chicken bowl today and I'm gonna make like the corn the pico the guac so I can eat that all together and that should hold me over until later on tonight but when I was going for my walk I was listening to um this podcast and the lady was talking about just different things and so as she was saying stuff I was taking voice notes so I wanted to continue sharing with you guys as I hear things or come across scriptures or quotes that feed my spirit so she was just talking about a lot of different things um but she said you're responsible for your own happiness and she said are you happy with yourself you need to nurture you allow healing love and nurturing to happen. You can't have love go to someone else if your cup is empty. Sometimes love doesn't come in because we're not allowing ourselves to be open, refusing to communicate, and refusing to reach out and connect with other people. Love is around us, but you have to reach out 
and meet it halfway. I thought that was just so powerful. These are just like a summary of some of the things she was talking about. But yeah, that you're responsible for your own happiness hit me in. Love is around us, but we have to reach out and meet it halfway in order for it to come to us. So I just thought that was really, just really insightful. And I really feel a lot better today, like just walking, getting fresh air, allowing myself to like think and clear my thoughts and pray and I just feel a lot better. So yeah, I'm about to go inside and fix lunch because I'm hungry. All I had today were some egg bites. <laughs> so I'm hungry, okay? And the coffee was popping, so I'm gonna drink the rest of that too. to my sauna appointment it's an infrared sauna room and it's supposed to help with like stress relief circulation weight loss stuff like that but um i'm just gonna check it out because i've never been i've been to a sauna before but the last one i went to a couple months ago it was like a tent sauna it wasn't the ones that you step in and sit down in so Oh my gosh. I was about to say, did my nail come off? I hit that so hard. I bent my nail though. I don't know if y'all can see it. That hurt. But yeah, we'll see how I like it. And see if this is something I want to add to my maintenance routine. relaxing i'm definitely gonna book another session with her she was really nice it was nice and clean in there smell good professional so i'm definitely gonna come back and i'll probably book like a month's worth of sessions and just come over here when i want to just wind down and relax because it was really relaxing and they have music playing She had music playing inside the sauna and it was just a really good experience. So I would highly recommend, it's called Luminous Skincare Spa. And I wanna, I'll probably book a um, facial too the next time I come back. So I'm about to go home y'all, take a shower. I'm gonna do an everything shower, shave, exfoliate, all that. And then I need to do like the rest of my skincare on my face, shape my eyebrows, get the hair off my lip <laughs> and all that. So I'll do that when I get home, but I need to get back home because I have a call I need to hop on right quick and then I can relax and be done with the day. <laughs> Bye.
my brother-in-law made some steaks later on that night y'all these steaks were so good and buttery he used a method called surveying so i just wanted to show you guys how he did it because they were bomb.com they did make some loaded baked potatoes to go along with the steak but i was trying to watch my carbs so i didn't have any but y'all this steak was so good love you guys so much i will see you guys in the next video